Hey everyone, in this episode, I want to share with you, or, or rather talk to you about making the, tr the transition or the switch from tenant to homeowner. And so I put together six things that I'd like to share with you, uh, I guess tips uh, per se. So the first one is obviously save as much as you can for a down payment. Even if you're getting financing that allows you to go almost zero down or zero down, still save up as much money as you can. And if you could put some money down on a mortgage, that's a great option for you to do that, to put you in a better financial position. The second one is know your credit scores. Have your credit scores run, whether it's by the lender that you're considering uh, your financing with, right, the mortgage, or just in general, uh, you can have it pulled, uh, I believe it's annualcreditreport.com, which is truly free for you to pull up your credit uh, scores in history and you can actually see uh, if there's any errors on there or if everything looks right or if your scores are lower than what you thought. So know your credit scores. Third one is don't make any large purchases. This is uh, as you get closer to you know looking at uh, getting a pre-approval uh, to purchase your home. Uh, you don't want to make any large purchases. Um, now I, I'm going to share a side note here. Um, and I've actually done this personally where um, I had a lease car that was up and my, and we were looking to get a home. Uh, the, the new car that I got replaced the old car. And so that was okay because, you know, it didn't affect anything, although we were low risk. But, uh, you know, something like that, right? If you're replacing one debt with another, that's different. But don't add on additional uh purchases uh don't go out and finance furniture when they say zero payments for x amount because it'll still show that you made a large purchase on your credit report okay uh number four is know what you can afford or not afford know your budget uh if you are looking for a home that's two hundred fifty thousand, make sure that you uh, can afford that payment as well as the taxes and homeowners insurance and the potential cost of the utilities, whatever that, that would be, you can kind of estimate that. Uh, but you want to make sure that you know what you can afford and what you feel comfortable with. Uh, fifth one is, you know, learn about mortgages and then get your pre-approval. So again, if you're looking at a lender, you know, sit down with them, right? And just say, hey, listen, uh, what does this loan mean? What does that loan mean? What do these things mean and what's the best option? Don't just go with something that, you know, you're like, okay, 30 year fixed. Okay, yes, that's a common loan, but maybe you can do a 15 year fixed. Maybe you can do some uh, some other type of loan uh, that would be better for you. So learn about the mortgages as much as you can. That way you're making an informed decision. And the last one I have is, remember it takes time. Buying a home takes time. Even if you find a home right away, it could take 30 to 45 days. Although I've had in some cases where that has taken, you know, three to three weeks roughly, uh, but that's not the norm. Okay. It just depends on uh, the applicant and all that, but it takes home. It takes time finding a home. Um, I've had home buyers that have searched for months. Uh, I have one now that has been looking for two years. It's a, a unique property and they're willing to wait, but just remember that it takes time. And even if you go out there and, and you make a bid on a home and you don't win it, uh, just know that real estate changes every day. More homes can hit the market, will hit the market, and you'll be like, wow, you know what? This home makes a lot more sense. So just remember that it takes time. So I hope you found this episode valuable and this content valuable. Uh, please share your thoughts in the comments. What do you think? Uh, are you currently renting? Um, have these tips helped you out? And I invite you to please follow me on social media. Uh, I put a lot of content out that um, I feel is valuable to those who watch. So, uh, oh, and visit my websites. It's all about the real estate.com and servingmichiganseniors.com. I appreciate you watching.